Now that you can record and import sound into Audacity, let's move on to basic editing. All of the techniques in this tutorial use the selection tool, and all but the last item involve the edit toolbar. To copy content, click and drag a section, and now click the copy button, or use the edit menu or the keyboard shortcut. The material you copied is now in the computer's clipboard memory. To cut, click and drag a section, and now click the Cut button, or use the shortcut key. What you selected is gone, and the remaining audio has shifted left. The content you cut has moved to the clipboard. Instead of cutting, you could select material and then press the Delete key. In that case, the content does not go to the clipboard. Pasting means inserting a copy of what's on the clipboard. Click where you want the material to appear, then click the Paste button or use the keyboard shortcut. The content is inserted into the track, pushing forward whatever is to its right. If you click and drag before pasting, the material replaces what is selected. Trimming sound is like cropping a photo. You decide what you want to keep and trim off the rest. Click and drag over the audio that you want to keep. Click the Trim button and everything else goes away. Sometimes you want to remove part of a recording and leave an empty space. Click and drag over the desired content and then click the Silence button. After editing a segment of a sound recording, you often end up with a sharp beginning or end, and you want to soften it. Fading out is starting the volume at its normal level and making it gradually go down to silence. Fading in goes the other way. Click and drag where you want to fade. On the Effect menu, choose Fade In. Now we'll do the same at the end with a fade out. Select a little more this time. The conventional wisdom is to fade in quickly and fade out slowly. One final note is that it's a good idea to have a tiny bit of silence at the beginning of a clip. That's it for basic editing and fading.